his name is Floyd Money Mayweather and a lot of you have been asking for me to do a video on his move to Showtime but I was waiting for a few things to happen before uh, I did this one being the exclusive fight hype interview uh, that happened after the K9 uh, Ishe bout last night and with a name like Floyd Money Mayweather this move shouldn't really come to a surprise to many people but it is, I think people just aren't thinking this one through. Showtime offered him quite the pretty penny to leave uh, HBO and the chance to, but not required to, uh, fight six times. We're talking at least 35 million here uh, based on the revenue of 1.3 million pay-per-view buys from the first bout being the grow bout alone. After that, everything uh, uh, escalates depending on pay-per-view buys, of course. Uh, Showtime potentially could be at a loss here and uh, it's quite the gamble for them. Say the girl about does not secure the pay-per-views uh, that is being estimated and money is guaranteed that money through Showtime. They will now be at a loss and they will attempt to go for a mega bout to recoup their loss. But the key is that Mayweather is in complete control here. He is under no obligation for any mega fight, no obligation to fight any fighter in particular. Who he picks, that's on him alone. Showtime has put him, uh, the holder of their his eggs, uh, the holder of their eggs, uh, eggs the, put all their eggs in one basket, there we go, uh, all their hopes, all their dreams, right into Floyd. Gosh, I can't believe I don't know what's going on. Oh. The deal is that Mayweather and Golden Boy will be the in-house promoters of Showtime. Uh, they will be in control of everything that really happens. Mayweather picking his opponents again on him. I think you guys can really fill in the blanks there. As long as your brain's following along with what I'm saying, right? Follow along, guys. Right. It's not happening. The only real big difference here is the commentators. I kind of like the commentators anyhow better on Showtime, but 24-7. Clearly an HBO show, they will no longer be working with Floyd. Unfortunately, I really love 24-7. I feel like they can make knitting look cool. They can make grass look cool. Hell, they can make fucking hockey look cool. Uh, anyhow, Showtime has a uh, something similar called Fight Camp 360. They'll be following Floyd around doing all that stuff in an attempt to build all of the hype for the fights. So what are your thoughts here on this epic move? Because I'll be honest, when I first saw this post, when I first found out that this was happening, my mouth dropped. Like when Danny Garcia dropped Khan, I'm talking like, like cartoons, like you know how it's just like totally exaggerated. That's pretty much what happened with me. But little by little, just like Khan versus Garcia, the pieces are starting to come together. All right, so what are your thoughts on this move by Floyd Mayweather? Remember, he has up to six fights. He does not have to do the full six. I think uh, Showtime put that in there as a chance to kind of recoup their losses. I think they're really uh, taking a huge gamble here with Floyd Mayweather, hoping that he'll pick, you know, some good uh, opponents that'll garner some good pay-per-view buys. Uh, Floyd could fight really himself, anybody, and, you know, go out there and just fight his shadow, you know, shadow box. And I think garner some uh, decent buys. So hopefully Showtime won't be in too much of a loss. Either way, let me know what your thoughts are on this move by commenting below. And God damn it, it's fucking Sunday. I hate fucking Sunday. Which means tomorrow is Monday. Yay! <laughs>